Hey everybody, this is me, Laura. I am doing this video. I finally got in. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I want to show you guys. This is Banny Park. And that is the gate that's open. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> um, I had filmed this, I think a couple of months ago when I started my project. And I could not get in here and I can't believe they had a fence because this black fence here was not even there. Um, it was not here at all. Um, I don't know if it's because you know they want to make it private or maybe people have been trying to break in or something. But this was Phoenix Banning um, Mansion. This was his mansion. And this was before um, this property here, this land used to belong to the Dominguez, which is um, Manuel Dominguez, I believe, or the Sepulvedas. Uh, it just depends who had the rights to the land um i know there was there was arguments not arguments but kind of fights between both of them sepulvedas and the dominguez but wilmington was part of their land and they sold it to phoenix banning and so he created he actually made this mansion here and all this that you see here like all these trees and all this was their yard and so really beautiful trees and stuff and so I've been in, I already took a tour of this mansion and they say it's haunted. And at the very top, like around there, I think it's the daughter's um, bedroom. And she has dolls everywhere. It's very Victorian. I really love it here in Christmas because they make it Victorian. I might come back in um, during Christmas because they have this really cool event where it's very Victorian and a lot of ladies dress in Victorian dresses and stuff. It's like so awesome. And so... This was his mansion here that he built. And let me take you guys over here is right there is, um, well actually no, over there is where they had the horses. This was a library. I believe it was a tiny library right here, which is that one. And so, but yeah, see there's a gate there. And so all that, even on the other side, that was all theirs so you guys can tell that was their mansion it's actually a museum now you can go there take a tour and even when i was younger and when i took the tour i felt like eerie like it's haunted and so so this is the back you know that's all. Well, I mean, when you go in there, if you would take a tour, you can feel, you can feel like spirits. I mean, at least I know I was able to. Um, and so this was where all the horses, I don't know if it's open. No, it's probably closed. Here's where they kept the horses right here. And a lot of trees, a lot of trees. If, if you look at some old pictures, they had a lot of trees. This part of the back and yeah as you can tell it's not open but I don't know if we could peek in there oh I think they're having an event but here as you can tell this is where all the horses were oh it, it looks like they had the other Los Muertos event here too because I see like a lot of decorations this was the garden really beautiful roses and and stuff and so this is my second video yes I already did the cemetery and now I'm on a row I didn't think I was gonna be able to get in here but it's just so beautiful this was their garden okay let's see this is a garden A bunch of roses here Really beautiful and we have more down here I remember me and my sister used to take pictures over here we used to come over here and we just used to take pictures with flowers and roses and kind of model right next to the roses and stuff looking how pretty I love this garden I love gardens it's just so pretty and so I think that's the end of that. 
And so this was their garden, you know, where they spent time. They probably most likely read books or they did something, I don't know. But it's really huge. Um, and so they created, it's called Banning Park after his name. And, um, oh, we got more squirrels. More squirrely squirrelies.